Right now, southern Wisconsin could be in for some rough weather tonight and look at where the worst of it will be and when you can expect it to move through your area. Also, the investigation of a Janesville High School coach could be coming to an end, but police want parents to know ahead of the school year. And later, President Biden is returning to Wisconsin next week, where he's heading and what he plans to discuss. It's all ahead on News 3 now at 6. And good evening. Thanks for joining us. Right now, the skies above us are sunny, but that could change in just a few hours. An alert day is in the forecast tonight for the potential of severe thunderstorms heading into the weekend. For the latest details, let's check the first one forecast with Chief Meteorologist Gary Canalti. Well, Charlotte, it is a little humid out here and temperatures are warm. That sunshine certainly helping to, for that. And that's kind of making the atmosphere a little bit more unstable. So we're watching some storms to our north and west already. A severe thunderstorm watch in effect until 10 p.m. for Richland and Crawford counties, as well as areas to the north and west over toward La Crosse. A line of storms has developed pretty rapidly over the last couple of hours from north central Wisconsin through about the Twin Cities metro area and then down into uh, parts of southwestern Minnesota. Those storms are heading to the south and east. Now, six hour future track radar from one of the computer models races those storms so that they're basically out of the area by midnight. If that's the case, the rain threat would be a little bit less, but the high wind threat could increase. The other uh, future track computer model shows the storms moving a little more slowly. That would increase the heavy rain and hail threat, but probably decrease the uh, wind threat. Visible cloud track shows the morning clouds from the showers moving out. That allowed the sunshine to come through, and that's what's destabilizing the atmosphere. So that next round of storms will have a pretty favorable uh, area of, of uh, environment to, to go through. Right now, temperatures are in the middle to upper 80s. Madison, 84, uh, Janesville at 86. Temperatures are as warm as 88 in Boscobel. Here in Dane County, 85 degrees in Cross Plains, 84 in Sun Prairie, and 84 in Deerfield. But dew point temperatures continue to climb. They're in the lower to middle 60s here, but in the 70s, not far to our south. And should we get those dew points? going up a little bit more that will also make it more unstable heat index right now makes it feel like it's 90 at Boscobel when you factor in the humidity and the temperatures otherwise look for skies to be partly cloudy this evening a round of storms by mid to late evening some of those could be strong to severe temperatures dropping into the middle 70s later on I'll take a look at the timing of those storms a little bit more and see what they're doing right now a three-month-long investigation into a former high school track coach accused of putting a hidden camera in the girls' locker room is close to being complete. As the school year approaches, officials at Janesville Craig High School say they will be updating parents on the situation. Our Catherine Merck tells us what's developed and what should be on parents' radar. Catherine? 38-year-old Brian Kitzman was charged with capturing an intimate representation of a child and invasion of privacy of a child using surveillance devices at Craig High School. As students soon return to the school, they might also return with more answers to their unanswered questions about the investigation. We're a good majority through this. As the upcoming school year approaches at Craig High School, there are still looming questions about what happened near the end of last year after a coach was arrested for recording students in a locker room. Police say they've spent the summer examining evidence. Part of the process was, you know, going through and finding, uh, like, his property. A search warrant was conducted at the residence, and anything that would contain digital media was seized. The coach confessed to recording at least 18 people, but police aren't releasing a total number just yet. I do want to discuss that with the district attorney's office and the prosecutor before we release that number, just to make sure that uh, they're apprised of all the information. A parent of a Craig student who asked News 3 Now not to be identified back in May said it was concerning to think her child or their friends could be victims. Not knowing if it was isolated to a certain few students or if my daughter could have possibly been in any of these videos changing in the locker room. It's just a privacy thing. It's very uncomfortable. The school district spokesperson said the district plans on providing an update to parents by the time the school year starts. Police say the goal is to wrap up the investigation by the new year, perhaps addressing last year's concerns. We're pretty confident that we have identified most of them at this time, though. Kitzman is no longer employed with the district. He is scheduled in court in October. Dane County officials are ordering one of the suspects in a deadly Madison shooting be held on a $1 million bond. Devonte Gafford, one of two suspects in the July 13th shooting that killed Devon Grant, made his initial appearance in Dane County Court this afternoon. He's charged with first-degree intentional homicide as a party to a crime, first-degree recklessly endangering safety as a party to a crime, and felon in possession of a firearm. Gafford's next court appearance is scheduled for August 16th.
Madison police are investigating an incident that left a victim with some serious injuries overnight. It happened on the 700 block of East Johnson Street at 1125 p.m. for a victim suffering from a laceration following an altercation. The victim was taken to a local hospital to be treated. MPD says the injuries were sustained from broken glass. They're labeling the incident as a weapons violation. Meanwhile, the suspect left the area before police arrived and officials say there's no known threat to the public. In Milwaukee, a 16 year old is dead after trying to rob an 18 year old this morning. Police are describing the incident as a double shooting. It happened about 1040 when the armed suspect attempted to rob the victim with a gun. But instead, one of the victims pulled out their own gun and shots were exchanged. According to police, the robbery suspect died from gunshot wounds. The 18-year-old victim was taken to the hospital for treatment of non-fatal injuries. Meanwhile, community members in Kenosha are outraged after an innocent man was arrested while holding an infant in his arms at an Applebee's restaurant. This video of the July 20th incident shows officers getting into a physical altercation with the man. An officer even seen punching the man as he's lying on the floor. Officers believe he was involved in a hit and run based on descriptions given to them by witnesses, but he was not. In fact, the actual suspect was later found hiding in the Applebee's bathroom. An internal investigation of the incident has now been started. And what we saw was not lawful, and there should be no charges involved. The only people that should be getting charges are those officers. Yet the man in the video, an Illinois resident, is now facing charges of obstruction and disorderly conduct. To Racine now where a judge is issuing a $1 million bond for a woman accused of starving her five children. Daisha Turner appeared in court charged with five counts of child neglect. A newly released criminal complaint says investigators found Turner's five children ages 1 to 14 living in an unfinished basement in Racine with purple paint covering every window. A seven and eight year old boy were found only wearing socks while the 14 year old girl weighed just 54 pounds. Right, Jeez. it hurts very badly because I'm begging you, texting you every holiday, every birthday. Like, can I have my son? Where are you? I get ignored. According to the criminal complaint, Turner told investigators the children were being homeschooled. Prosecutors say the children had not seen a professional educator in several years. Governor Evers ordering flags to be flown at half staff tomorrow in honor of Lance Corporal Tanner Kaltenberg. Kaltenberg passed away July 23rd when he and two fellow Marines were found dead inside a vehicle in North Carolina. Tanner was 19 years old, graduating from Verona Area High School in 2021. A service for him will be held in Verona tomorrow. Firefighters in Fitchburg are investigating a fire that broke out at a senior living facility last night. Crews responded to the Ridge at Madison on Fish Hatchery Road. Dispatchers have confirmed the incident started as a cooking fire. Two ambulances were on scene, but we don't know if anyone was injured at this time. President Biden will be traveling to Wisconsin again this week. He plans to stop by Milwaukee just before the upcoming Republican debate. The president will visit the Cream City August 15th, a day before the first anniversary of the Inflation Reduction Act. President Biden will deliver remarks on how his, quote, Bidenomics is investing in America to grow the economy. The visit comes less than two weeks after Vice President Kamala Harris stopped in southeastern Wisconsin to talk about broadband expansion. The Wisconsin Department of Workforce Development is celebrating the graduation of some young adults from Project Search. Project Search is a business-led collaboration that enables young adults with disabilities to gain and maintain employment through training and career exploration. Participating interns develop transferable skills such as organizing, packaging, general accounting, and many others to support them as they seek community employment. Today, 11 interns shared their experiences as they prepare to enter the workforce. It feels great. It feels great to work hard and, you know, make money and just learn new skills every day. So, yeah. Since its start in 2008, Project Search has provided workforce training to over 1,500 Wisconsin residents. Coming up on News 3 Now, it takes the Goodman Center looks to make sure kids have the supplies they need for the upcoming school year. And for good reason, our Back to School series digs deeper into the increasing costs of those supplies and how they're impacting parents and also teachers. Stay with us. The absolute lowest prices now during Furniture and Appliance Mart's Labor Day event. Save $1,600 instantly on this four-piece Whirlpool kitchen package. Or get a washer and dryer pair for $18 a month. All with 72 months special financing at Furniture and Appliance Mart inside Ashley. I'm Randy Bump with Bump Farms, and this is my John Deere. 
So I'm a sixth generation farmer. Uh, our farm was homesteaded here in 1846. I think the thing that makes Sohn stand out the most for me is probably the people, the products, and the service. Whether it's bulk oil delivery, bulk death delivery, the Sloan helpline, I mean, they're, they're always there for me. And I've actually had them open up on a Sunday and get parts for me so I can keep a combine running. And that's why I think Sloan's first. Outlets at the Dells, an attraction not to be missed. With over 60 of the world's biggest brands, we thrill family vacationers, trendsetters, and all who love a smoking hot discount. We're all about the thrill of the deal, the joy of finding the thing you forgot to pack, the backpack that the kids really, really want, the sneakers that make PE class the most awesome, and the discounts that no one else can touch. Get the first day look they want and save up to 70% off on everything for back to school, plus get a free Vera Bradley lanyard and zip ID. Visit outletsatthedells.com for coupon and details. Fry Construction invites you to celebrate summer with our hot summer sale. We're talking about hot savings of 23%. Many of your neighbors already know how we strive to meet and exceed expectations with each and every project. That's why they voted us best roofer three years in a row. Experience the best of Madison for yourself with Fry Construction. Get on board for our hot summer sale. Save 23% off gutters or insulation with any full siding project. Schedule your consultation today at fryconstruction.com. Get the absolute lowest prices now during Ashley's Labor Day event. Save even more on doorbusters at discounts up to 83% off. Like this sofa and love seat set, now $5.98. Plus six-year special financing with no money down. Only at Ashley. You're watching News 3 Now at 6. Parents and teachers are feeling the pain of high prices as they get their kids ready for the school year. Leo Linscheid has some ways to help you save. The National Retail Federation says this could be the most expensive year yet for parents when it comes to those school supplies. Spending could hit a record $41 billion this year, up 11% from last year. The average family plans on spending about $900 on those supplies. The biggest items hit by inflation are graph paper, mechanical pencils, highlighters, and folders, the type of stuff every kid needs. So we pulled together some advice to help you save on school supplies this year. Shopping online first can be a big saver. You'll be able to compare and find the best sales and deals. Buy in bulk, the per unit cost, almost always lower when you do that. Plus, you can get it ahead for next year's shopping. Buy generic brands. The store's brand is usually the same product and same quality as name brand, while being almost 25% cheaper. And lastly, shop without your kids. You can craft the list with them at home, but shopping without them will help avoid the pressure of spending more on flashy, unnecessary items they see in store. For more advice on back to school prep, be sure to tune in to News 3 Now this morning, every morning. For News 3 Now, I'm Leah Lynchide. The Goodman Community Center is hosting a school supply drive this weekend with the goal of outfitting 500 local kids with school supplies. The center is hosting three drop-off time slots from today until Sunday. It's asking community members to provide backpacks filled with all the school supplies a student would need for the school year. So we're hoping that people go to our website, goodmancenter.org slash backpack, find our shopping list and drop off those supplies that are on that list. We still need a little bit of everything except for scissors. Fiskers made a super generous donation and we have all the scissors we need, um, but we still need everything else. So we need people to drop off so we can be sure that we can provide all the kids with supplies. Last year, the Goodman Center set a goal of providing 200 kids with school supplies. And thanks to the generosity of the community, more than 400 students received those supplies. And a reminder, we are just getting started with our two-week push to gather supplies and make sure every kid in Dane County is set up for success this year. You can drop off those supplies at our studio right here at News 3 Now, any Boys and Girls Club location, or at Metcalfs and Walgreens. You can find a list of supplies that are needed over at channel3000.com slash back to school. So ahead as the Red Cross continues to deal with a blood supply shortage, changes are now being made to who can donate. After the break, News 3 now takes a closer look at how these new rule changes will impact donors. And when we can expect to see that severe weather in southern Wisconsin, Gary with the latest on the alert day, his complete forecast when we come back. Dust and debris can leave your carpets, upholstery, and more looking dull and dirty. Stanley Steamer certified technicians can remove the buildup and restore your home to a cleaner and healthier space. For a fresh start this season, call or go online to schedule your deep cleaning with Stanley Steamer today. 
Make your home's entryway a welcoming space with help from Menards. Personalize your home with a door built just for you. Mastercraft doors have the fastest delivery, so you get your door in approximately seven days. Get 11% off all Mastercraft doors. New locks on your door. Ensure safety for you and your family. Menards has you covered with a variety of quick set locks, including this quick set electronic deadbolt for only $44.49 after rebate. Save big money at Menards. Steinhoffel's coupon event is happening now. Start with amazing bonus buys throughout the store, like this full bed, now $99. A beauty rest mattress, only $299. This dining table, also $299. This sofa, just $499. Then take an extra 10% off all clearance merchandise. Plus, take up to 40% off patio. And make it easy with Steinhoffel's 72 month financing. Steinhoffel's coupon sales event. Find even more great deals in store or online at steinhoffels.com. Wish you had help getting things done. Same. So I got Spectrum One. It's fast internet, unlimited mobile, and advanced Wi-Fi, all for a great price. Want it? Here's the number. Call 833-784-4999 to get Spectrum internet for $49.99 a month, plus advanced Wi-Fi and your first line of unlimited mobile free for 12 months. Spectrum internet delivers the fastest download speeds in the nation. Which helps me run all of this easily. Kids checkups, scheduled. Work, bust. Treat dispenser, treating. And since I'm always on this, unlimited mobile is a no-brainer. Work. Switch to Hello. Spectrum One. 300 megabit internet, unlimited mobile, and advanced Wi-Fi for enhanced security. Spectrum One. Gets it done. Get Spectrum Internet for $49.99 a month, plus advanced Wi-Fi, and your first line of unlimited mobile free for 12 months. Call 833-784-4999. Visit Spectrum.com or stop by a store today. Now's the time for cleaner indoor air with an air duct cleaning from Stanley Steamer. You've known us for carpet cleaning, but we've been cleaning air ducts for over 20 years. We do things the right way, cleaning your entire system. So if you need an air duct cleaning, call 1-800-STEAMER today. You're watching News 3 Now at 6. Thanks to new guidelines from the Red Cross, monogamous gay and bisexual men can now donate blood for the first time. And as donation shortages this summer threaten the blood supply, those donations are sorely needed. Brayden Ross joins us to explain. Brayden? Yeah, Eric and Charlotte, these new guidelines mark the first time in almost 40 years that sexual orientation won't directly impact someone's ability to donate blood. Back in 1985, the FDA enacted a lifetime ban on blood donation for gay men. That was true until 2015, but even then, gay men had to be celibate for at least a year before they could donate. In 2020, they dropped that period to three months, and now everyone will be asked the same screening questions before donating, no matter their sexual orientation. Treating each individual case um, separately is a really good move. I don't know what the reaction will be, but at least now people that do want to participate are able to are participate. The change comes at a time when blood banks are struggling to get enough donations to keep up their supplies. The Red Cross is holding blood drives across the state to keep up with that demand. You can head to their website to find one near you. Braden, thank you. Target's curbside pickup will soon include orders from Starbucks. And here's how it'll work. Shop the Target app, place your Target order for pickup. You'll then get a prompt in the app to order something from Starbucks. A Target team member will deliver your Target order along with your Starbucks. Target says the drive-up service will be available at all locations as early as October. We have an alert day for severe weather coming up later tonight. Let's check back in with Gary. He has the very latest. Yeah, nothing right now, uh, but the stage is set for severe weather. It's already occurring near the Twin Cities. Uh, right now, severe thunderstorm watch in effect for Crawford and Richland counties of our viewing area, as well as areas to the north and west toward La Crosse and Rochester, Minnesota. In fact, this is a, uh, the latest watches and warnings. These are all severe thunderstorm warnings, so you can see them already now uh, from north north of Black River Falls to around Eau Claire to Hudson and then down into southeastern Minnesota. This is where the line of storms which has been racing to the southeast and you can see over the last six hours how quickly this line of storms is moving. So that might limit the heavy rain threat. Uh, the hail threat right now is still up there but I think as this line continues to accelerate southward the hail threat would go down a little bit but the high wind threat might increase because of the fast movement of the storms. Uh, we'll zoom into southern Wisconsin. Six hour future track radar from one of the uh, shorter range computer models races these storms southeastward so that by midnight they're pretty much out of the area or at least down around Janesville. 
Uh, most the severe weather threat will be over with by then. The other uh, shorter range computer model shows these storms, and this is actually starting to pick up now on the fast movement. Brings them through Madison about 10 o'clock and then down towards Janesville by about midnight. Again, the severe weather threat would probably be done by about 11 or 12 o'clock at night. So we do have that first one weather alert day in the forecast. Right now, I think high winds would probably be the main threat. Hail, heavy rain, a little bit less. Uh, and that's just possible in a few storms. Nothing really widespread, although any part of southern Wisconsin could see severe weather. And it's mainly going to be this evening before midnight. Three things you need to know. After the one more round of storms comes through, we're looking for a mainly dry and warm weekend with high temperatures right around 80 or a little bit above. And then another round of thunderstorms. Slight chance by Sunday after late Sunday afternoon, but the better chances will be Sunday night into Monday. And we'll actually turn a little cooler early, early next week. Week. The setup is that we have upper level winds from the west and northwest, winds near the ground out of the southwest, bringing in moisture. So the two are kind of combining right along that cold front right there. So you got this little surge of moist air. We have the cold front coming in, and you also have the jet stream overhead. So notice the winds right behind the front moving in the same direction as the jet stream. So a lot of times what happens is as the rain develops, that kind of pulls the strong winds near the ground, and that's why the high wind threat might be a little bit stronger when storms are basically running uh, perpendicular to the uh, to the upper level jet stream and the storms coming in our direction. Right now, we're in the mid to upper 80s through southern Wisconsin. Atmosphere is more unstable here. Notice the cool off behind the storms in the front. Temperatures drop into the 60s and 70s. Dew point temperatures Coming up here, but just to our south, they're in the upper 60s to around 70s. So if we can tap into some of that moisture as the storms get in, again, that could fuel the round of storms, but it'll be a one-shot deal for this evening. Severe thunderstorm watch, Crawford and Richland counties until 10 p.m. Uh, planning your night, look for that line of storms to come southeastward, 8 p.m., already moving into Richland Center. By 10 p.m., probably around Madison or even to the southeast of there, and then <laughs> after midnight, south of uh, Janesville and heading into northern Illinois and pretty much putting an end to things. That would limit the heavy rain potential. A few places could get around a half inch of rain. Most areas probably less than a tenth of an inch of rain, and there will be some areas that may miss out on the rain altogether, especially the farther north and east from Madison you go. Planning your night across Dane County, 64 in Mount Vernon, 64 Forward to forest. The skies clear out behind the storms. Uh, 63 for the low in La Crosse, 63 in Lone Rock, and 65 in Janesville. They'll see the storms end last. Tomorrow, sunny, warm, a little less humid, high temperature at 83, and our first warm 7 to 10 day forecast. Again, the next chance of thunderstorms late Sunday afternoon, better chances Sunday night into Monday. We'll turn breezy and cooler with a high temperature of 73, but they could be back up to around 80, maybe a thunderstorm chance Wednesday night into Thursday morning, and by next weekend, high temperatures could be in the mid to upper 80s. Still ahead, Giannis is out of the FIBA World Cup. See what it means for the Greek freak. That's coming up next in sports. News 3 Now First Worn Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. Genian's 93-year history means you pay $93 for installation no matter how many rooms you carpet. Get carpet and pad in your old carpet removed and recycled. Our competitors can't match it. Ask about 18-month financing. Local, sustainable, Sir Genian's. Look, Mom, I found one. Oh, yeah, you did, but we need an ATM from our bank unless you want to spend a small fortune in fees. <laughs> no, thank you. Banking with BMO means more fee-free ATMs than the two largest U.S. banks combined, including places like pharmacies and grocery stores. Saving money and more convenient. <laughs> Look at you being so helpful. What'd you expect? You're standing at a help stop. That's you. <laughs> That's me, at a desk. When a bank helps you get and stay ahead, that's the BMO effect. Mark, a little help here? Oh, keep it down. The noise is making them angry. Whoa. Hey, I'm not a beekeeper, but I can replace these windows fast. Let Feldco be the experts in your home renewal. Right now, buy one window and you'll get one free. Plus, no interest for one year. And we'll get it done Feldco fast. Buy one window, get one free, and soon. Hurry. Call now. Call 866 for Feldco. Congratulations to Madison Magazine for earning nine awards in the Milwaukee Press Club Excellence in Wisconsin Journalism Competition, including top honors for best single story or feature design and best feature photograph. 
Dive into local lakes with Madison Magazine. Learn what lies in the murky deep, from antique cars and ancient relics to tales of sunken treasure. And meet divers bringing secrets to the surface. Madison Magazine, online and on newsstands now. Get ready for an improved news experience. The all-new Channel 3000 News app is here. Tailored for your news the way you want it, with a customizable home page and faster page loads. Download the Channel 3000 News app, powered by News 3 Now. You can just feel it. Love is in the air. As we speak, Jordan Love is taking the field as the Packers' new starting quarterback, even if it's just for the Pack's first preseason game. It's an opportunity the team needs every rep of to prepare for the post rogers era. The Packers are in Cincinnati to face the Bengals tonight, where Love is expected to play a few series. As for the rest of the team, though, they say that simply facing someone other than their own teammates provides a ton of preseason value. Good to go up against, you know, big competition on the other side. That's different than our defense. Our defense, we kind of know what each other are doing. Um, so it was fun to kind of go against a different scheme, different style of players. It's just different looks. Um, we've been going against our defense the whole time. And good teams go against each other. The Bengals are one of the best teams in the AFC. I just think we're one of the best in the NFC. So there's, there's going to be that back and forth for sure. Watchless season continues to be fruitful for Braylon Allen. The Badgers running back was named to the Walter Camp Award watch list this afternoon. It's an honor that's presented to the best player in all of college football. Allen has led UW in rushing yards in each of the last two years and is coming off a sophomore campaign where he ran for over 1,200 yards and 11 touchdowns. But Luke Fickle is focused on the future, too. Today, a four-star cornerback from Florida, Xavier Davis, make that Lucas committed to Wisconsin. Lucas is Bucky's ninth four-star commitment of the 2024 class and keeps Wisconsin's recruiting class ranked top 25 nationally. Elsewhere, former Wisconsin quarterback Graham Mertz was named the starting quarterback for the University of Florida today. Mertz started 32 games as a Badger and enters a new chapter in the SEC with the Florida Gators. When the Greek national team hits the hardwood for the FIBA World Cup later this month, they'll be missing a key piece to their roster. Giannis will not be suiting up for his country. He said today in a Twitter post that his body is not ready to compete at the level it needs to be to participate in the World Cup. The Bucks big man had cleanup surgery on his left knee earlier this summer, which caused him to miss 11 games this past season. And tomorrow, former Marquette star Dwayne Wade will be enshrined into the Naismith Basketball Hall of Fame. The three-time NBA champion is one of four players in this year's Hall of Fame class. The Flash, as he was known, served as Marquette's commencement speaker last year. Much Yay! And we already got an update from the Packer game. What's that? I... Oh, they didn't want to distract. You know, Fair enough. Distract yeah, you. yeah. Uh, Jordan Love touchdown pass to Romeo Dobbs. We so like seeing first that. Drive, maybe they can set him now, and yeah, yeah. they've seen what they need to see. We'll see. He needs all the reps he can get. Absolutely. Uh, Gary, final check. Okay, uh, we're watching some storms to our north and west. Line of storms racing southeastward now, just passing the Twin Cities, still north and west of La Crosse. You can see uh, severe thunderstorm warnings starting to come out now, just uh, northwest of La Crosse County. Six-hour future track radar. One of the one of the models races the storm southeastward and get out of here by midnight. The other one a little bit slower, but we'll have to keep an eye out for the possibility for strong winds, hail, and heavy rain. Well, we'll keep you updated, folks. Thanks for joining us at six. Have a great evening, and we'll see you back here at ten.